substitute for Barnett, got an offer number 8, half right, replaced by number 7, Luke Gaffey. Afternoon, Mike. You must be pleased uh, with the result today. Do you think we played better as a team before the sending offs or after that? Make a big difference to your sending offs. Um, I think the first sending off was the turning point. Obviously, with the with the penalty and them going down to ten men, gave us the the lead in the game, and we managed to to see the game out. And uh, obviously, the the other sending off helped that. Although I don't think we used it to our advantage as best as we could have in the last ten minutes. We uh, we certainly could have killed the game off earlier for me, but. I'm absolutely delighted with the three points and uh, a great win going into a, a big game on New Year's Day. Yeah, so that's uh, two from two, so that's six points over the Christmas period. A lot of teams would have taken that or would have wanted that, so you've got your six. And you're you're going to be greedy and want the nine on uh, Wednesday. Well, it's just important when you when you have a good result that you back it up with another positive result, and that's what we did when we went on a on a good run earlier in the season where we managed to get eight games unbeaten and. As I kept saying to the lads then, the positive result that you've just achieved only means something if you get another one and you back it up with another one and another one and, and that's what certainly we'll be trying to do here against Woking on New Year's Day. And uh, it's nice to see Clovis back, obviously, and he, he, he's such a workhorse in the midfield, you, you miss that sometimes, I guess. Yeah, Clovis has been excellent for us all season and, and of course we're delighted to have him back. Obviously it's been a difficult time for him and, and, our, and our thoughts were with him and he had our support you know, from everyone at the club. At, over that very very difficult period and I know he's happy to be back and, and getting his mind back on football and, and I think he's done that very very well I think he, he, he was tired today um, you know he had to had to put in a, an unbelievable shift to play virtually the whole game today having played 48 hours before and I was delighted with his contribution today. Okay and uh, I know you say the, the, the soldiers is about not just about the, the team but the, the whole team is about the staff and and your physio and yep. and your, your kit man, they're working, working hard at the moment. It's, it's Christmas period. Do you want a quick word about those and the effort they're putting in right now? Oh, the, the backroom staff have been phenomenal since I, since I took over. You know their professionalism and uh, the help that they've they've given me certainly as a manager uh, to help us to achieve what we've achieved this season is, you know, it, they should take a lot of credit for that. Um, you know, Lindsay as physio. Toby is kit man, James Bittner coming in as goalkeeping coach, oh, yeah. obviously Warren Feeney and then you know you've got Woody Kilby as well, my, my analyst, and um, Ross Ross Cracknell who, who comes and helps us with our strength and conditioning and, and some more stats side of it as well. So 
all these guys put in a put in a great shift, and, and not only those guys, but the people in the office, you know, yeah, Hannah right. and Hannah and Ray, and and obviously yourself, Kino, as well. You uh, <laughs> you put in a put in a big shift, and it's nice for us to uh, to work together in a team, and, and we all enjoy it. And you know, at the moment, like I say, we're, we're reaping the rewards. That's great, Mikey. Thanks so much for that, and uh, good luck on Wednesday, and happy New Year from myself and everyone. Cheers, Kino. Happy Thanks New Year. Much.